Hey, what up? Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Halloween's pretty close, and so is the movie release. You probably already saw it. You ready to get into this? I suppose I am. Nine years ago, the game released. Six years ago was the last time I played this, the first one. And this is episode three of the second game. What could go wrong? Um, yeah, it's been way too long. And I'm just gonna kind of have a chill session. Like you can. Like that's such a thing that you can have a chill session while playing this. I remember when this was first released, uh, man. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hello and Same experience, to new really. At the new and improved... I can't wait for the sequel! I never played the third or the fourth. But, uh, oh man. Forgot about flashlights in the camera views. Lots of things to think about in this one, comparative. So I just clicked escape. That's how safe pass that game is. Well, hold on. <laughs> Maybe over these years I've gotten used to not thinking about using the escape key for the FNAF trailer. Man. I haven't seen the Slender movie. I haven't seen this movie yet. I'll probably go ahead and see it tonight. But anyway, uh... Either way... Somehow, some way of life that I've, uh... Gotten back to, uh... Opening up this program. With some face cam included. So for the moment, I'm a little bit of an anima animatronic to uh, help you believe in some sort of lore. Just, I'll have you know, I freaking love this job. I love this game. I love the world wide web. Everything that there ever is. Oh man, I've loved it. Uh, okay, to escape that mask, that character. How do we get back in there? <laughs> oh, there you go. And that's a thing for some reason. Yeah, haven't played this in... for frickin' ever. 2017, I believe. But it says on my Steam hours, at least, that I I played this one in 2015. And I, I don't really remember that. I might have booted it up for a, just a good old gameplay. That doesn't seem like too difficult. You know, I've been thinking about the fact that I've been doing this for many a years, and it's still my first night. If you were just to have a, a good old duty where you'd have to watch over these guys, I wouldn't even show up for the first day. <laughs> so this is some sort of like... It's such a great experimental horror. It, it's a great idea. But its whimsicalness kind of falls flat when the big scare of the game is a, is a, a pop-up, is a jump scare. It's still, it's gonna get me. And I'm gonna try to probably warn you, like, when it comes up, I'll put a little editing saying something is appearing and... In some odd seconds. Because along the same lines as, uh, as Minecraft, it's like lots of things we don't know about it yet. The community has taken hold of this game, I think, a lot more than it just coming from the guy Eric. Which is a beautiful way to look at, like, television shows. 
how fascinating some people would love the first season of a TV show like uh, Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul and then just the fan base growing over the years and uh, it shape-shifting and helping the writing. I kind of don't know what that indicates. Well, there's a guy in there. <laughs> Do I put my mask on? There's a good old bunny. I'll put my mask on. That was a good time, eh? Good timing. Out of the two movies that I intend to see for the rest of this year, there's like some good ones that are hitting the theaters. This is one of them that I'm kind of at a half measure about if I'm going to. When it becomes Thursday when I'm posting this is the day that I will ultimately decide on if I'm going to grab a soda pop, some popcorn, and hit up the theater. But as it is, I guess I do have that plan. It's just not really set in stone if I'm going to... And then by the time I'm getting this video online, I will be like, I need to think about it some more. Because I just like publicly stated it in this kind of video. I'm like, uh... Some things to think about. This like online forum that we call the everything that we ever want to be. You want to come by and hang out for a little? Oh yeah, is it something over here? There used to be a button. <laughs> there used to be a button. But maybe that means there's Freddy up above. I actually don't recall. But I saved myself there, hey? I'm trying to remember all of the, uh, the tips that there is. I don't remember if he doesn't, if he, does he like that or don't like that? Incoming jump scare. Potential. Now he's like at the door. I can't really close that one. So if he's gonna come on in, that's kind of our decision. I'm just another one of y'all in the day of Paul. I don't know how many uh, nights I'm gonna do with this. If I even make it to the second. Now, which, that's Chica? You're like, as if I'm gonna know what to do when Chica arrives. Chica's big birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Chica! Yeah, happy birthday, man! I hope you had a great seventh birthday. Eighth, ninth, uh, how many games are there in this serial? Because I am not moving past this one. Not for another s three to ten years. <laughs> and I believe in that. Like, they chunged these guy these games out. Chunged? Chugged? This one was whipped out like two months after. And it was very, like, scapegoat of me to kind of do it and even play the first one. It was like very soon all the YouTubers had done it and I think I did it later into the month. And I did this one pretty early into its cycle. I just wanted to try something. And uh, I just kind of had a close encounter with uh, an indie gem. By doing so, by playing the, the second game, as soon as it really came out, I got a, 
very modernized look at uh, the gaming industry 10 years ago. But to an extreme, to even be talking about all of video gaming knowledge and then you connect it to FNAF, it's hard to do that. <laughs> it really is, because as much as FNAF is a legend, There's, done, there's still a bunch of fucking funkin' uh, others that just will not relate at all in any sense to this one franchise. Freddy's. The Many's. This is just some free wave music here. This, uh, this music box. And I think I knew that before I went into the game. It was like, I used it in one of my videos. The game was released like two weeks later. And I was like, oh, that's the, that's the song I used. I don't remember which one that is. Bloombo? The bo- Wait, where's Bloombo at? He gone. He's coming in. He's, he's coming. We want to hang out, bro. I got some balloons for you. Is that what Balloon Boy's like? He's like, hey, you like balloons? <laughs> some weird things I'm saying. After having a mild, uh, great interview with myself about video games as a whole. You ready? That's what I'm doing. I'm preparing myself by just giving myself some cues, like... You could be... Another jumpy. I'm kinda- I'm getting this, but... I feel like... It whips up... When, um... You get to the further nights. Hey. What do I do with that guy? Just... Say hey? I'm gonna put my mask on, I don't wanna talk to him. Would you guys be ashamed if I was using a cheat sheet? I'm using the comments that you guys left me 10 years ago. <laughs> I'm putting this on, I don't know what that was. Someone's walking down those hallways all the time. Someone's in the kitchen? Ow, oh, uh, hey. If you cut to the footage of me being scared, it's gonna be so subtly nothing. I feel like I gotta give you another, like, jump scare moment. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you know, you kind of probably heard a little of my adrenaline in the way I was speaking and the way I was preparing myself for that to occur. Look at me already back in here, like, give me another. That's all you got. That little breath of my uh, speech and uh, then there was Chica. Because I'm not even going to put the face cam footage in there for that one. That was... I don't know what I look like. But I know I barely moved. <laughs> I'll still warn you. I'll put the little, like... Incoming loser in two seconds. He got a game over on night two. Again, again. So on the menu screen, though, it said night three... And so I remember in episode two, I don't think I finished. Okay, this isn't a hundred percent. I don't think I finished episode uh, night two in episode two, part two thousand years ago. But that must have been when I played in the year twenty fifteen, two thousand fifteen. It said in my Steam hours that I played it then. So I must have booted it up and got that far. But because of the popularity 
of this title, I might have booted it up for my friend, like I did once before for Five Nights at Jerry's. Yo, if you were a viewer ten years ago and you saw this friend of mine named Jerry, uh, I did a video for him, uh, a sort of collab, but it was more so just for his channel and let him play the first game for like 20 minutes and he posted that to his channel so I might have done that same thing in 2015 I can recall around that time frame that I was uh, doing videos for the channel as well so maybe even I intended intended on like uh, recording for a, a secondary episode all those years back as well. I might be getting mixed up with a lot of years though, like 2017 as well is a part of that equation for some reason. <laughs> and this is going to be such an archive of like YouTuber game that for some reason we forced ourselves to play. And uh, lately on Twitch, I will browse over to who's streaming the game and I will kind of like just like look at their title, like, oh, they're playing it in this year. That's something I do, I just kind of like look at. YouTubers' titles and Twitch streamers as ambassadors. I look at those little things. I'm like, how does it connect to you all those years back when it first released? And a lot of the time, it really isn't. It's just like playing that game. You know that game, and you probably know it a lot more because of. Uh... Actually, I shouldn't speak for you because I was about to go into a ramble about myself, which doesn't speak for everyone. But I was just going to say, I know it a lot more because of the press release. Like, with the film releasing, it is going to be a lot more worldwidely known and uh, maybe, maybe, holstering itself as a uh, gaming icon uh, masterpiece of some sense but potentially not <laughs> I, you know like Josh Hutcherson could ruin it <laughs> just saying that didn't scare me <laughs> maybe I'm way too sensitized for this game I've been preparing myself for like a jump scare for a a week or two, I was just making my bed and I was thinking I was going to be playing this game with my Pikachu comforters and colorful pillows. I was like, this session's going to change me. My life after today of playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is going to be a whole new gambit, and it's not. I think I've aligned my code within my body as a weird statement as that is to get ready for this like session and as much as I've done that I'm not scared that wasn't scary maybe you'll try again in many years from now yeah I want to give you a more of like a you know what, let's do an exaggerated take. So. Guys, I can't play this anymore. It's gonna get my heart up pumping. 
Should I get another take? Just, <laughs> take two. Five um, on the actual set of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. And go, Josh. Did I record that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I might have not recorded that whole thing.